So we look on, into year three, and in year three, we've got our link to Pixlr. So we click on that, and it opens up in our browser, and we're going to open an image from the computer. And our images are in pictures, and we click on there, we put them in a folder called Romans. And the first picture, you, you find your own picture, and if you open that picture, that's now in pixel art, and we're going to use this lasso tool. You need to be careful with this, practice a few times, but you just need to draw as closely and neatly as you can around your face. So we just want to get nice and tight in. So we're just drawing this lasso around the face. I missed a little bit there, it's a bit careless. I'll just take a bit more time, and you carry on until this line comes down underneath the chin and now meets with the first one. So I've now drawn all around my face. Okay, you'll see why we've done that in a moment. Because so, I'm going to put my face on someone else, on another photo. So I need to open image so I find another photo from the Romans folder. And I open this. Now you'll see by dragging on the top border, I can move and drag between two photos. That's important and good practice. Now I'm going to get my photo by edit and copy. And then I go into the second picture and edit and paste. And my photo appears, as you can see, it's much too big. So I go into edit and free transform. And you'll see at the corner there's squares. I pull in those squares to make my face smaller. Then I position it. The correct place, still a bit too big, still a bit of a big head. There we go. And I just position it so it's on my Roman until I'm happy. I can just move it and adjust it. That's it. That's looking okay. I'm quite pleased with that. So now they ask me if I want to apply changes. Yes, I'm happy with that. So I now save file save and it should save it back into the romans folder so i'm just going to put my name down the bottom it's the g there we go and i'm going to save that okay and i can now go and do a second picture i want to close that one but i should have clicked on i should click on no there so i just want to get rid of that picture and Let's get rid of that and then what I'll do is I then file open image and I'll choose a different picture to change I'm going to choose that one I'm going to again move these around sort these let's move that one out of the way and I've still got my photo copies so I'm going to this time copy paste and again I'm going to edit and free transform that's a tricky bit to remember and then I can resize my picture nice and small. Whoops, flipped it over. And now I can move it into place. And say so I'm happy with that. Apply changes, yes. And now I want to save my picture. So again, I go file and save. And when I go to save it, I type in Mr. G and see what happens. I click on save. And saying, do I want to replace my other picture? No, I don't actually. I want to keep both pictures. So I'm going to click in here and call this Mr. G2 or Mr. G Roman Centurion. And I've saved that picture. All done.